You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. I'm John P. And I'm Derek Kessler. And we've got lots of good stuff coming at you today, not the least of which right now we've got Larry from RevealSound.com. Yeah, our company name is BSG Technologies. This is the Reveal Oh, product. I see, okay. It's, it's Reveal spelled only with E's. I like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and you put the double, you know, the little line over the E's so we know that's a, that's a proper hard E. That's Reveal. right. Reveal. It's also more distinctive. We, of course. We try to separate from the crowd. And you could probably get a, like a trademark on that, you know, as opposed and to just. And we already have. Good. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> as well as a patent on what's inside, Excellent. which we already have. We are no longer applied for. We are actually patented. Fully granted. Now, right. How long did that take, just out of curiosity? Three years. Three years. Good yeah. God. But now we actually have two, and our patents worldwide are pending. We got the initial one in the US. USA. Nice. Anyway, so what is inside this? What is now? There's a good question. What is inside of this? There is a circuit that is the circuit derived from our patented technology, together with a headphone amp, a rechargeable battery pack, the jacks for using it. Uh, all in this small space. Okay. What our technology does, and it's important to know, uh, actually the best way to explain, in fact, is to tell you that our inventor is a musician, a, a highly accomplished musician on keyboards. Some 13 or 14 years ago, he was being recorded playing a large, powerful organ in a big church. He went back to the listening booth and essentially said, where did everything go? I'm not hearing what I hear when I play in that church. I'm not hearing the reverberation time. I'm not hearing the detail. I'm not hearing the dynamics. I'm not hearing the complexity of the harmonics. It just sounded flat. Yeah, a yeah. lot gets lost in the, the, pro it's the process. Lost. Yeah. Well, as he is also someone who has taught audio engineering for 12 years and uh, taught acoustics at the university level, he decided to use his combined talents to figure out why and to fix it. And what he found is that because of the mathematics of the electronics we use to reproduce sound, there are cancellation effects that prevent all of that information from getting reproduced. What's key here is that it is captured in the first place. The microphone gets it all. It's when it hits the electronics that much of it gets canceled. Discarded, basically, or, I mean, is it is canceled. it just lost? It's just canceled? It is canceled, <laughs> obviously this yep. oversimplifies, yeah, but it's yeah. canceled in the same sense that plus one and minus one equals zero, not two, gotcha. when you do algebra. In the human ear-brain combination, in 11 millionths of a second, the brain sorts out all this information. We get it in real life when we're talking to each other. Cavemen got it, and it was how in the dark they knew that the tigers were that way, so they should run this way. They weren't able to do that without that transfer function in the brain. Electronics don't have that. They're not as fast, and they're not as complex in their math. Over a period of what then took eight years, Wow. Our inventor, through research, experimentation, a lot of reading, because this phenomenon's actually been known to audio scientists, at least some of them, as far back as the 1930s, but no one had ever solved it. He solved it. He found a way to keep that information from being canceled, so now we can get 100%, rather than roughly 65 or 70% of the information when we're recording in an audio it. signal. Now is it when we're we're gonna use this device when we're recording audio or when or we're playing playback? it back? On playback, 
the delightful thing for me, because I organized the business and decided to take it forward, uh -huh. is that it turns out that every single recording ever made using electricity has this hidden and buried information. You just have to dig it out. You just have to dig it out. So in other words, you can dig it out with a one-way technology that decodes. Everything out there is already encoded. We have tested this with recordings of Caruso and Louis Armstrong from the 1920s. And that information's there. It's there in mono recordings, it's there in stereo, and it's there in multi-channel. Interesting. Although this is a two-channel device. So what one does, and, and by the way, I'll just show you, this thing weighs one ounce. Yeah, I, mean, I picked it up a second ago, it's nothing. It, it's... it feels like there's nothing to it, yet there's both an amplifier and our technology in there as well as a rechargeable battery. Okay. It recharges here. With a micro through USB. Through micro USB. Recharging, if it's way down, takes three to four hours, usually less. The charge lasts 20 hours. We only were planning on 12, but sometimes happy accidents. You get, yeah, lucky, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we can we pr even provide these Velcro strips because if someone wants to, they can do what I've just done. Stick it on an iPod. Stick it on an yep. iPod, mm -hmm. stick it on a cell phone, whatever you have, and then you plug it in to our input, you take a pair of headphones and plug them into our iPod. So you basically uh, output. Yeah, you're just basically putting it in line <laughs> with your headphones. That's exactly right. And if my microphone doesn't fall <laughs> apart, I'll take this a step farther. Um, we have a bypass switch, which frankly owners rarely use except to demo to their friends. Right. Or for the first week. Because <laughs> right. the differences can be pretty amazing. If you like I Derek, will ask, let's do this. Are you going to be the, you'll be the... I'll uh, be a guinea pig. Guinea pig. All right. Got you some beats by Dre there. You're looking very stylish. And what is our musical selection going to be like? Well, like everybody else in the world, we're playing Bruno Mars these days. <laughs> of course. Okay, nice. I'm going to play if I can get it to go, because I'm a Luddite from the old generation. <laughs> I still play vinyl. But people tell me, these things are quite nice. <laughs> so you're going to hear, when I was your man, bam. All right, now is he listening to it? Is he listening to it with or without the uh, enhancement at the moment? Without at the moment. So you, okay. Can you hear it? it? Sounds all right. Is the volume level acceptable for you? Mm hmm. Okay. I'll give you a little more there. Okay, now I'll go into our technology. Exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> it gets much more lifelike, much bigger. What? It gets, it, gets, it gets more natural, it gets much bigger in the sense mm -hmm. that an individual image of a musician stays the same size. The space in which he made it his music gets bigger yeah. and expanded and enriched. So it's kind of like a digital signal processor. It sounds a lot more like you're actually in the studio. Exactly, as it should. But interestingly, I've been saving this. In this iteration, this is 100% analog. Oh, really? We huh. do no signal processing. Signal processing would inject fake information, synthesized information. Yep. All this does is it extracts information that has always been in the signal. It just hasn't been getting reproduced. I see. And in doing that, we don't change a frequency by as much of a quarter of a dB. All we do is bring out everything that was there in the first place. And it makes it sound more real. More importantly to me, it makes it sound more enjoyable and just fun. Just better. Yeah, it's interesting. just plain better. Cool. That's so, what we do. So where can people get them and how much are they? Two very good questions. I'll take them in order. All we right. are now on Amazon. That's a good start. That makes it accessible we for are, everybody. We are here at CES looking for more retailers. Yep. 
but they can also buy it directly from our website, which is Reveal, spelled all R E's. R E V E L Sound. Sound. Dot com. Dot com. Oh, nice. And we have a shopping cart, and the price is one hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. One nineteen ninety five. Right, okay. and that includes a headphone amp as well as what's in here. It includes all your cabling. It includes the Velcro that I attached it with. Of we course, didn't want to leave anything out. So it's, it's portable. So far, every type of earbud and headphone we've tried sounds much better. Now, I will confess, we're a startup company. We don't have the money to buy $5,000 headphones or earbuds. Yeah. Yeah. But we've tried most of the brands up to about 300 bucks, and it has improved every one of them. What you heard was Beats. And I chose that because they're ubiquitous. Yeah, they're everybody's everywhere. got them. Yeah, everybody's you can get them at Costco, them. Walmart, whatever. Cool. That's right. And right. Uh, with the input, you can use an iPod, an iPhone, a smartphone. Uh, it doesn't make a difference whether it's Android or Apple, etc. It works with MP3 players. If somebody still has one, it even works with a portable CD player. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you know, okay, in case you're keeping antiques. Yeah, whip out the old 8-track. Uh, yes. Cool. Well, that if, sounds if great. It could, if it's audio that works with mini jacks, then our device can, will work. You could clean it up. That's All right. right. Excellent. Well, you guys, you can go to reveal revealsound.com. There you go. Monty put it in the uh, chat room there. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll check it out later on. I thank you very much for having us here. Thank you. We, we really do appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed your 12 seconds of- <laughs> Sounded much better. Of, of you'll, have to get, Mars. You'll, have to, you'll have to get it to try All it out right. later on. And, and thank you. All I right. have been watching you guys from time to time <laughs> for a long while. So thank you so it's much. It's very much a pleasure to be here. Appreciate Thanks it. Coming on. Okay, and, guys, uh, you stick around. We've energy. got a lot more coverage mm -hmm. coming out of CES here, and we'll be right back for more. All right.